Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. I feel so like the wind blowing in my hair. Um, it is hot as blazes out today. My fan is like um, super duper high. So, you know, I feel like... Whew. So in today's video, we are talking all about my top three favorite products in each category. I saw um, this video that um, Ali Glines made one and so did Glam by Sam. I will put them up here so you can check them out. I thought it was such a great idea. I saw it like last week, two weeks ago. I'm not really sure when um, this video is going up, but you know, my head was like spinning. Let's see. I love that. I'm not really sure about that. This one's brand new. So um, yes, I. Mm, that is what we're going to be talking about today. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You could ring the bell. It will give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday between one and two-ish. So, yeah, like, make comments, ring the bell, tell your friends, subscribe, help a newbie out. I would so, so appreciate your support. And now without further ado, let's get started. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, it's a mess, but who cares, right? So let's start from the very, I have my notes here. I have tons of notes here. Okay, cool. So we will start from the beginning. So number one, um, are brows. Now I traditionally was really never a brow girl, but mm, lately I have been enjoying them. Hold on, man. Let me check it out. This brow is always so freaking gorgeous. And of course, this is always the brow that goes this one for some reason. Let me fix that. There you go. Anyway, my top three um, brow products are Benefit Precisely My Brow. I love, love, love this pencil. I get mine in 3.5. It is so, so beautiful. You know, typical. It is so beautiful. Love that. I don't know if this would, yeah, this would be called a brow product. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow in number five love this at first when i started using it i'm like oh my god it is so dark it makes me look like very um eyebrowish bushy but it is beautiful i'm really really loving um that trend i've always had like you know normal eyebrows whatever i, I never like plucked them super thin that they never grew back um yeah so this makes my eyebrows look so beautiful and full and then last but not least i just picked this up recently and i want to say it was in probably one of my favorites maybe june maybe july i'm not sure but if i find it of course i will link it below but this is the ulta beauty the ultra slim brow pencil in dark brown it's this one right over here it's the darker one yeah so these are my three top favorite eyebrow products now next are primers now i'm not really a primary kind of girl i do like to like um use the putty primers for my pores but i will tell you this and please leave me comments below is it just me could be but every time i use a putty primer especially across my nose i said and then i go put on my makeup i see like all my pores like through my foundation I, I i don't know but anyway i'm not really a primary kind of girl but when i do use primers and of course they were right here now if I, oh my god they're right in front of my face they're right in front of my face but i do love 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 of course the elf poreless putty primer of course oh i just love that slip such a great great feeling love 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 the elf putty primer i also picked up the tatcha this was in um the sephora vib the last one that we just had i never you know used it before got the same exact kind of slip as the elf putty primer i think they're dupes i'm not really sure but i still love that consistency love 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 it and i wasn't going to mention this but I think I found like a similar, and I don't want to use the word dupe because I just, I, I have no knowledge of dupes at all, but I adore, adore like this Becca. This is the Becca um, Backlight Priming Filter. I think it is so, so beautiful. And I, I, I was kind of hemming and hawing about putting it in this video only because of course we all know that, um, darn it, that Becca is going out of business. But I, the reason why I wanted to show you, let me just, I'm going to just put it on my hand. Don't mind, uh, yeah, don't mind like the brow underneath, the brow pens on it. Isn't that so beautiful? I love this kind of pearlescent kind of look underneath. Look how beautiful that is. And the only reason why I mentioned it is just in case you cannot find it i just recently picked up the uh the rare beauty this is the always an optimist base um illuminating primer and i just put it in did i put it in a video i think i did i did did i i think i did 
I'll put the video below, but it kind of gives like the same kind of vibe. So, so here, the, here it is, this, this one right over here. This is the um, Rare Beauty, although you could tell it's more um, hydrating. You could see that, so this right over here is the Becca, and then this over here is the Rare Beauty. It's really beautiful, pretty, pretty, pretty similar. Like I said, I think the Rare Beauty is a little bit more hydrating. So I figured, let me just mention it. But by the way, I know they're going out of business. Try this um, as a substitute. You know, you may like it. So those are my top three primers. Now foundations, whew, I this was a struggle because back, back here, I have like two drawers filled with foundation. One foundation is drugstore foundation. The other, um, the other drawer is um, high-end foundation, but um, this was a struggle. Let me just tell you my most recent, and I've mentioned this a million times in a few of my favorites, is um, the IT Cosmetic Your Skin But Better foundation. I love, love, love this foundation. It is what I have on today. Anyway, of course, everything I have on my face, of course, couldn't put all of this stuff on my face because I only have one face. But of course, all the products that I have on my face will be listed below. But this, I am in love with this one. This one is um, Medium Neutral 31. It is so, so beautiful. I love this. Something about it. It is so special. It's so light. It's so beautiful like i said it is what i have on today water light medium coverage natural finish it is so beautiful love 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 that foundation and i could not like um yeah girl i cannot get away with foundation without talking about this lover right over here this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. Um, actually, I use a 260 in the winter, 265 in the summer. This is full coverage. I adore it. This is probably my go-to. Yeah, this is probably like my go-to. Like I'm positive. Um, I want to have a great like complexion day or a complexion moment. I always grab this. It is so fantastic. If you like full coverage, I like full coverage. You know, I'm a, like, I like a solid medium, but you know, every now and then I do love, love, love my full. This is beautiful. And of course, I could not, not talk about this um, last foundations, of course, for special occasions. It is the, the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation. It is so so beautiful um let's see water resistant 12 hour wear what what uh yes this is 2wp again i picked this up in not this last sephora um sale but the one previous because i would i have been eyeballing this lover for such a long time i'm like girl i can't and i love i know it sounds like spray paint what are you doing girl spray paint in your face but this is so magnificent. Like if I have to go to a wedding or like a special event or something, I always grab this. And like I said, girl, don't spray it on your face. I mm -mm. I usually either spray it like on the butt of my sponge or I spray it like right onto my brush and then I dab it on. It is so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But I will tell you foundations were very, very difficult. We're on to concealers. Tricky, tricky. I'm testing a concealer right now. Mm, not really sure. But uh, the love of my life that I found recently is the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Concealer. I adore, adore, adore this concealer. It is so beautiful. I will tell you of the millions of concealers that I have that I used, that I borrowed, that I tried, this is probably the best concealer, the least creasing, the least caking, love 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 this concealer it is so fantastic and then my other one of course who can do you can anybody say anything bad about the maybelline age rewind i don't think so i mean look at this little lover this is probably mm, my second third fourth one i love this one this was in light pale i have one in fair i have one in um neutralizer i love 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 this staple it is so so great i mean um, i can't say enough about it it is so creamy this is so so amazing and then another tried and true that i have forgotten about because i have been loving my um my mac is the nyx um born to glow radiant concealer so so amazing it is so great oh i didn't even try that this is fantastic now it is a little messy because it comes in like this little squirty sponge thing but um, 
I, I will forfeit that. It is so beautiful. And I do love to have my under eyes like bright. I don't think I have like dark circles, but I love that like brightening effect. But look at that, how beautiful it dries instantly. And it's so creamy. It doesn't like, um, it doesn't like, like dry down to the point like of my under eyes being cakey. Look, I'm trying to diminish or at least like um, hide them. You're not going to get rid of them. Obviously, they're there. Hello. But um, anything to diminish them. I love, love those three concealers. Amazing. Okay, cool. Moving on powders. Again, very nervous about powders. Very nervous. But when I do use them, ever so gingerly, ever, ever so gingerly. I will tell you, um, this Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder right over here, of course, it's broken, blah, blah, blah. Love it. There you go. I hit pan on that little baby. This is probably like my second one. I love this for underneath my eyes. Oh my God, it's so soft, it's so delicious. I always powder um, underneath my eyes with this um, powder right here. It's so beautiful. And by the way, any kind of powder I use, I always use like a translucent one. I don't like to change like any kind of color that I put on my face. I, I don't like to like distort the color at all. But this I love. I love this essence underneath my eyes. So I do use this just underneath my eyes. And then of course, girl. Yay! I hit pan again. This is of course the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder in number one. Beautiful I mean, beautiful. It is, well, you know, it's so gorgeous. It's so fluffy. I hate to use the word face look flawless and airbrush, but it does. It is so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then um, my last powder, which I have many, but you know, I get nervous, is this number seven. I adore it. I've been, I've been using the number seven probably about a year now, maybe a little bit over a year. I know people say that it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know. I mean, they both, let me see. I'm not a dupey kind of girl. I don't, um, I mean, other than like maybe the Charlotte Tilbury has more of like a yellow, has more of like a yellow and this is more of like a cool. Yeah, probably, I don't want to say yellow. This is more like a warm and this is more like a cool. Um, they both feel exactly the same and um, I just love them both. I love them both. So those are my three powders and then bronzers. I know like the girls were just like bronzers, blushes, but um, I could not... Um, break away from my powder bronzers and my cream bronzers. I'm a cream kind of girl. I love cream bronzers. I love cream contour. I love cream blushes. So let's just see here. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with the powder bronzer. For, like I said, I did break them up between powder bronzers and the cream bronzers. Of course, cannot get away from her. She's a gem. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless um, Bronzer. And I do have mine in number two. It is yeah, it's a cult favorite. It is so beautiful. Yeah, it is what I have on today of the many that I piled on today. It's so beautiful. Can you even see that? Probably not. It's right over here. It's, look at that. It's so beautiful. It just melts into the skin. Yes, airbrush. Yes, flawless. But even like the undertone of it is so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. I love that. And a cult favorite, again, is the... Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It's so nice. I'm not, I'm not really a smelly, girly person on my face. I don't like any scents, but this is okay-ish. This is like the coconut. It's so beautiful. It feels, yes, it feels like butter. Everybody and anybody, you know, you know who they are. You know Physician's Formula, but they're very, very similar. Look at that. Very, very similar. I adore both of them. Again, can't go wrong with the two of them. My last but not least, but I have so many bronzers, but I will tell you, I keep this particular bronzer when I get ready in the morning. I am an OR nurse. I get up super, super early uh, and out the door I go. I adore this Benefit Hula bronzer. Of course, it is another cult favorite. Oh, I have three cult favorite. Another cult favorite. I love it. I work three days a week. This is what I have on when I'm going to work. It is so beautiful. I adore, adore, adore these three bronzers. You cannot go wrong with any of these three. They're so, so fantastic. Now I'm going to get to my um, cream bronzers because I just could not. And um, yeah, I just couldn't do it. I just could not. I can't just say, oh, that's it. Goodbye and good luck. Cannot. Now, although I know this is um, a shaping stick, this 
Makeup by Mario Sculpting Stick. What is it called here? Let me just tell you exactly what the name of it is. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. Whew, that's a mouthful. I do have mine in medium, uh, light medium. It is so beautiful. It is, again, what I have on today. Oh my God, look how gorgeous that is. I know you could use this... Um, as a contour but for me like it's so beautiful look at that i just that i just blended that in it is so so beautiful adore can i tell you i adore adore cream products so so beautiful i just recently picked these up these are the and i know these are two oh by the way i may be cheating a little bit only because they're different colors i mean it's the same product so I hope you'll forgive me, but these are the e.l.f. putty um, bronzers, which I, of course, did another video on them. I don't remember the titles. I don't remember um, when, but um, just look below, and I will have all the linked videos um, that I've been talking about that I don't remember, but they will be below. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, one of these are um, the tan lines. So beautiful. So beautiful. Look at that beautiful, creamy. It's wow look at that that's the so that is um tan lines and then this one is called um golden days this one that i just did a video on is a little bit too orange for me but i'm willing to work with it so of course the golden um days on the bottom the tan lines are up on top but so so beautiful and then last but not least and i hemmed and hawed about this one as well because um Going, it's a limited edition. <sighs> NARS, how could you do it? How could you? This is the NARS Sun Kissed Bronzing Cream in Laguna. You cannot find this anywhere. It smells, and again, I do not like smells on my face at all. This I will douse myself in. It is so beautiful. Anytime, like I put my name on anywhere, oh, we're out of stock, we're out of order on Sephora, I, um, at Nordstrom's, at NARS, whenever you get it available, call me. Just call me. I don't even want to waste it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Let me see. I guess I'll put this right in my hand. I mean, can what? This is almost borderline, almost borderline a contour. Blend that bad boy in. This, look at that. It is so beautiful. And again, I just hemmed and hawed about it because I don't want to put any products here like the Becca. I don't, and without like a substitute, I don't want to put any kind of products in it that you guys cannot get your hands on. But um, try to get your hands on this little lover. I'm praying to God of all Jesus, God Almighty. Thank you, amen. That NARS makes this a permanent product. It's so beautiful. It is so, so beautiful. Okay, let's see. Now, next is, we did that. We did that. Of course, blushes which again, I have 5,000. I had to reel that, reel it in, girl, reel that mess in. Now, I will tell you this. Um, I have never been so excited in all my life to see this a collection. It is so gorgeous. It is the Bougie Rouge collection from Jaclyn Cosmetics. And the, I picked up the cool one. These are so beautiful. And in conjunction with that, which this is my cheating moment of... Um, this is another one of, these are cream to powders. I have never in my life saw anything so interesting. Look how beautiful. Now, this one is called Overruled, and I have a few of them. Cute, you see it's creamy, blah, blah, blah. The mitt, you see, it looks nice and creamy, nice and delicious. You touch it, and it instantly feels like powder. I, I have never felt something so cool, ever, ever, in any kind of products, and I still haven't. Look how beautiful, look at that. It is so beautiful. So this is like a package deal. This means like this is just one. Yeah, that's just one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm hmm And then my next product, of course, how can I not talk about this little lover right over here? I adore Wingas. I have his blushes. I have his, um, the bronzers, his eyeshadows. They are so beautiful. But this beautiful blush right over here is so beautiful. This one is in Coral Rose. I mean... It is so creamy, so beautiful, so delicious. I mean, can you appreciate that? Do you see? It's so beautiful and so subtle, so soft. I mean, it is gorgeous. Like, it feels like a finishing powder. 
that's how beautiful and that's how finely milled this blush is it's so so gorgeous i adore wayne goss i just love him i think he's so kind i think he's so on um, authentic and what I really really love is that he gears his formulas to older women's 40s 50s and above look if formulas can work on our skin texture they can work on anyone they are so so beautiful I just adore adore him I adore his formulas I adore his products fantastic and then last but not least is again mario you are all over the place this makeup by mario this is the soft pop powder blush and this is in desert rose it is what i have on today first of all i love it's i love his products they're very sturdy this almost feels like magnetic i think so look at this how gorgeous it is isn't it beautiful and again just as buttery just as delicious i you know you can you see a trend there like these almost look the same i just think um the makeup by mario is a little bit cooler it's so beautiful and again very buttery and even though it's not like that pigmented you could totally build on it and it just it just stays it stays all day i adore adore these products okay so now moving on to um cream blushes we're gonna keep we're gonna keep on with my man makeup by mario this is so beautiful this is called pale petal so gorgeous so so gorgeous i mean look at that i where are we gonna put him i'm gonna put him right over here his formula is so creamy do you see that can you see that glistening what i love about this formula is even though um it leaves like a little tackiness it's not sticky if that makes any sense but look just look at that look how beautiful you still have that little bit of a glistening glow but it's not sticky it's so beautiful his products are so so amazing amazing now okay mm -hmm, i'm going to cheat a little bit just like before this is even though these are two it's still one brand we're going to just let me just glue them together so you're going to make believe that they're just one but i love 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 these elf putty blushes i just did a video on one that on one of them some of them i can't remember these are so beautiful and so creamy this little lava right over here is a uh, bora bora look at that bora bora and tahiti so beautiful like one of course has that beautiful oh they're so gorgeous can you see that look at that look how beautiful that is gorgeous so of course this one has more yeah of course the bora bora is more of like a baby doll pink and then like tahiti is more of like a like a rose they're so gorgeous of course this is these products and what i'm talking about is truly my opinion some people may like may like them some people may not of course we all have our own opinions but to me they are so so beautiful and then last but not least in the blush rooney category my boyfriend right over here how can we not talk about patrick ta i love 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 and of course you know cream to powder current powder to cream these creams again they are so creamy look at that excuse me excuse me look how beautiful that is so beautiful and of course if you watch his videos he says put the powder on first and the cream i'm like wait what but it the his products first of all i love him to death he's so freaking cute his products like he's so ingenious and he's so like when you watch him like kind of like out of the box like who the hell would really think to put the powder on first and then the cream it's like no dude you put the cream. no dude he's right it is so beautiful it just like even though the blushes are beautiful his powder blushes which i have tons back there and then you put on the cream on top of it just looks like your whole face just flourished with a liveliness love 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 okay moving right along we did all that eyeshadows i have two drawers filled with eyeshadows which is probably nothing compared to you guys out there but to me it is i struggled i just actually filled up my paperwork this morning just with the eyeshadows because it took me days days to figure it out so i although i love them all in their own special certain way you know just these three i think i can get any kind of look you could possibly think of and of course of course first and foremost the natasha denona glam palette i adore this palette this is glam to the nth degree it is so 
beautiful anytime i go away anywhere this little lover comes with me because to me personally even though when i first looked at him like i mean they kind of look all the same no girl so to me like if you could see these colors they are so beautiful you can get a full cool look and you can get a full um warm look that's why i love them so much but i love this little lover right over here one of my favorites now to throw a little color into the mix um this beautiful palette from Sydney Grace, the Enduring Love palette. I remember this little lover was on back order for such a long time. I don't know if this one is, um, this one is in light. Look at these colors. Look, look at these colors right over here. How stinking gorgeous. If you ever wanted to put any kind of pop of anything in there, the shimmers are beautiful. The colors are gorgeous. I don't, if anybody has not used Sydney Grace, you are truly doing yourself a disservice. I have tons of, um, they have like just their magnetic palettes and you can grab like singles, you know, uh, mix and match any way you want. You want to make your, create your own, um, you want to create your own color scheme. You can do that. And again, you could go glam if you want. You can, you can keep them light. They are very pigmented. Just use a light hand. They're so beautiful. They are so, so beautiful. And then last but not least, my like go-to that I adore I love, love, love the KK Beauty eyeshadow palette. This is in um, classic. Look at these colors. They are so, so gorgeous. They're very neutral. They're very beautiful. Again, you could do a whole matte. You could do a shimmer. You can mix and match them. This to me, I adore. And of course, I, again, I'm sorry to see the KK w beauty is um no longer I'm sure they're just revamping renaming retitling i don't know but this palette is so gorgeous this has to be one of my favorite like go-to's again other than like the um the glam if i'm just gonna go away for the weekend with my girlfriends and we're just gonna go chillax and or an overnight this is i grabbed this one and i do also love her mini one it's called um kkw beauty um mrs west i think love 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 that palette so those are my three um eyeshadows which yes yes i lost sleep i lost sleep eyeliners you know i you know i'm a creature of habit i adore adore the makeup forever aqua resist color pencils love them this one is in ebony which 99 percent of the time i wear um this color these are fantastic they do not budge Another one that I adore is the um, the Fenty Beauty. These are the flyby pencils. The, uh, yes, the fly pencils, longwear pencil eyeliner. Adore. I just have the one in black, but let me just tell you. Um, wow, that is black as all heavens. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? But I've been meaning to go back and grab a couple because there's one uh, brown because I love browns. And I want to say that there was some kind of a bronzer that um, Lisa J always look. Look, and these things, like I just put it on trying to rub it off yeah I'm trying to rub it off mm -mm. they are amazing and then recently i just picked up probably a few months ago because i you know i always have to have a back of a backup and like what if this one um they discontinue it and then i need something else i am loving this Too faced killer liner this is the um total control 36 hour waterproof eyeliner in killer espresso beautiful 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 it is gorgeous look at that they are so stinking creamy and so beautiful, and they don't budge. They do not budge. Now, mascaras, this was tricky because I have a few that I've been going back and forth with, and it's been my lover for a very, very long time. This is the Essence um, Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I adore this mascara. This is probably like my second or third or fourth one. Not only is does it make my eyelashes a mile long, I love the brush because I have a very hard time underneath. This is so perfect, this brush. It's so great. The formula is fantastic. My eyelashes, like, are they are so long, like, they hit, like, right underneath my eyebrow. That's why I have to, and then I have to wait for the mascara to dry, blah, blah, blah. Then this is how long these this product right here makes my eyelashes. They are so, so beautiful. Um, yeah. This Maybelline Sky High Mascara is so fantastic. Now, I know that some people do not like this kind of... To me, it's amazing. I love how it just grips my eyelashes no matter which direction I want to take it. It 
bends and molds to my eyelashes so fantastic and again the brush is amazing so great love 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 this and i also have two three five seven backups i don't even know now recently probably within the last like month or so um again lisa j god lisa j makes me buy so much stuff i will link her below um she talked about the monsieur the lancome monsieur big mascara and i'm like wait a minute i think i have this i think yes i did have it i had it for months don't know never opened it it was girl now this to me is like a humongous kind of brush although the one that i've been using now is probably double this size this makes not only do not only does it give me such great length but the volume that this mascara gives me i feel like let me see i'm just trying to think what i have do i have this on today i think i do but it looks like i have false eyelashes on doesn't it amazing so great i do have a hard time underneath that's the problem with like these bigger um brushes but this mascara is fan fantabulous fantabulous i know i just made up my own words i don't care they're fantabulous so that is the mascara now the lip liners again cheater cheater pumpkin eater <sighs> these natasha denona lip liners the, the i didn't the i need a nude lip liners are amazing they are so beautiful and let me tell you they last forever they're beautiful they're creamy they're delicious yeah remember um these are these are like one these are like one how beautiful and let me tell you that lip liner will not budge will not budge so those i adore what i really adore that has been my love of all lovers forever and a day i love 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 is this color pop lippy and this is one is an oh snap i love like a pinky yeah girl i love like a pinky nude i don't like brown nudes and i don't like um like those um nude nudes does that make sense i love like a pinky nude look at that how beautiful to me that is the perfect pinky nude it is so beautiful uh, prior to getting the the Aida nudes because they weren't around i wore this 24 7 it is so beautiful and then my last lip liner this is the um the christian audette and mel thompson collaboration and this is in um kitten yes and of course they're waterproof this was a waterproof gel liner. they're all waterproof they do not move you know see now this is the ultimate uh, ultimate of pinks look at that look look at that how gorgeous that is the quintessential pink liner and that's exactly what mel said that she could not find a true like pink liner for her skin complexion for her lip color so you know she collaborated and she created her own color it is so beautiful so those are my three lip liners we're getting down to the wire we're getting down to the wire because um we're going out to dinner soon and um yeah thank god i have makeup on Thank God I have my makeup on. Anyway, so lip liners. Lipsticks, I will tell you, I am not a lipsticky kind of girl, but um, I do try. I have been trying. So, um, and note to self, they all look exactly the same. But they're all different to me. No. So, um, my first lip smack and stick is the uh, uh, Natasha Denona I Need a Nude um, Lipstick. And this is in 32NP Susanna. Love, love, love it is so gorgeous let me just uh, i guess i'll put it over here so this is the susanna so pretty that is so so beautiful i am a nudie kind of girl so when i need a nude came out i'm like here i am i'm right here love my nudes i yeah i really don't deviate so this one i adore and then with the um christian audette mel thompson lip liner collaboration she also came out with a lip smack and stick that goes with it and this is called beauty it is what i have on my lips today so so pretty yeah it's so beautiful so look at that that is the most perfect 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 pink yeah i mm, i adore 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 that pink it is so beautiful both of them are very very creamy so beautiful now of course I'm going to put an asterisk on this because this is um, the Becca, Becca Y. I, I'm praying, I'm praying that someone picks you up. This lipstick in sugar, I want to say this was a collaboration 
I think with Khloe Kardashian and her best friend Malika. I'm not really sure. But this, oh, same thing, same family. Oh my God, it is so, and that is probably the creamiest of all three. It is so beautiful. I could not find these anywhere. I will tell you, I must have picked up probably all of them. I must have like three or four or five of these because I love this color so, so much. But I, again, I didn't want to put anything in here that is not available. So this, why, this is why this is um, an asterisk because I'm, I have like this little um, Charlotte Tilbury uh, pillow talk that I just started using recently because again, I'm not a lipsticky wearer and um, I had forgotten how beautiful it is. Look how gorgeous. Now again, not as creamy as the um, the Becca. You could see the two of them next to each other. This is much more uh, has much more cream and radiance in it. But this color is beautiful. I really had forgotten. Like um, first of all, that I had it, and that it was so so beautiful. And then let's see. Oh my gosh, you know what? We never did um, highlighters. But let's just finish the lips, and then we'll go for the highlighters. And then my lip glosses, which I adore, adore, adore adore city lip lip glosses now again another cheat another cheat i have five thousand of these clears they are so magnificent but i have so many different colors they come in like all these colors right over here they also come in um in opaque colors but um of course this is the clear clear is clear i'm not going to open that up but um this is called um los angel lips so funny and um, i think this is the one i have on but they are so I, I love a gloss. I'm a glossy girl. I will always um, pick a gloss. No, that's not it. I, I used San Diego. I will always, always pick um, a gloss over a lip smack and stick. They are so beautiful. And again, the, this is just one company. So, you know, you know the drill. So love, love, love City Lips. The, the, um, the gloss, like the clear gloss, I wear almost every single night almost every single day amazing these maybelline lifters who does not love these again these are so great i think i have three or four of these colors they are so beautiful they are so beautiful these like no joke i mean first of all look at that doe foot it's enormous these let me look at that i mean i know it's clear i know but these mimic like a high-end gloss by far you couldn't even tell these are so incredibly fantastic and of course you know i know i'm prejudiced about lip glosses because i love gloss and then last but not least i adore this fenty beauty this is the pro kisser luscious lip balm and this is in pinch me and again i've been meaning to go and get like more of these i mean this to me is perfection this to me is perfect look at that not only is it a beautiful fantastic fantabulous gloss but it's also opaque enough to use as a lip smack and stick a rooney so beautiful adore adore those colors so so nice and then let's go back to the highlighters real quick my love and first love of all the loves is the benefit cookie i wear this every single day at work again just like with the benefit hula bronzer they sit right in my um, bathroom vanity so this is fantastic i'm almost hitting pan there if you could see that it is so beautiful love 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 this i'm also enjoying um the ofra highlighters i didn't i never had ofra until i went to go get samantha march's second collaboration which of course sold out so i said let me get her first one and i fell in love i mean look at that it is look at that wow that is so beautiful gorgeous 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 felt in love with ofra highlighters they are so beautiful and then where is my other one? Oh yes i want to go so i wanted to go back to the wayne gosh and highlighter um said look at that his oh my gosh his highlighter is so beautiful and so, my god they're like butter look at that it's so beautiful and so buttery. They are so, so gorgeous. So those are the three um, highlighters that I have been loving. And then last but not least, these setting spray. Of course, um, I know that people complain that this is like hairspray when my kids are home. I don't care. It's so wonderful and so fabulous. Yes, your face is like stuck like glue only until it dries. And to me, it just like dissipates. It no, my makeup does not move at all. 
I'm also enjoying, like recently I picked this up, it's the Professionals Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I think it's so beautiful. First of all, it's the mist is so pretty. Look at that. Let's try some, shall we? Mmm. It looks and feels so, so good. I adore it. And last but not least, I know this is not like um, a setting spray, but I love, love, love this uh, ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Setting Mist. I think it's fantastic. Obviously, you could see. And I, I love this because I wear it, you know, in the morning. I like to wear it in between makeups to refresh my makeup. I adore it. So even though this is not really a setting spray, it's a setting mist. But anyway, so I think that's it. I think we have come to the end of the road so i hope you guys enjoyed my video and all the products that we talked about i would love to hear from you please leave me some comments below thank you so so much for sharing your time with me and as always be good to each other love each other and have a great great day bye